If you date an unbeliever, you are dating the devil. Tell your neighbor, don't date the devil. He's a good toaster. He can take you for movies. He can take you to the best restaurants. But he will never take you to church. If you date an unbeliever, you are dating the devil. Now, Colossians chapter 3 verse 19. <clears throat> Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Underline bitter against them. Be not bitter against them. The word bitter there means don't be harsh. 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 Some husbands are very harsh. The words they use are harsh. Their voice is harsh. Even the way they will, even the way they will touch their wife. Even in the public, you're touching your wife, you're trying to help, put your hand on her shoulder. When you land the hand, it, it is pain. And you are harsh in all areas. Everything about you is harsh. Your words are harsh. Your voice is harsh. Your hands are harsh. <laughs> uh -uh. Don't be bitter. <laughs> Don't be bitter against them. Ephesians 5 25. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Love your wives as Christ loves the church. How did he love the church? He gave himself for it. He gave himself for it. 26 to 30. Look at how. How he gave himself for it. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Next verse. That he might present it to himself. A glorious church. Not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. But that it should be holy and without blemish. Next verse. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself 29 for no man ever yet hated his own flesh but nourished and cherished it even as the lord the church next verse next verse for we are members of his body of his flesh and of his bones so he gives the man the responsibility to act like jesus in the marriage he must love how does Jesus love us? Number one, Jesus gives himself to us. A husband must give himself to his wife. Jesus gives himself to us. Jesus lays down his life for us. That's the love of Jesus. So the love of Jesus is demonstrated in actions. It's not in mere words. I know some of us are very poetic. But you see, Jesus did not come to the world and give us a poem to read. He demonstrated his love by giving himself to us. He gave himself to us and for us. How did he give himself to us and for us? Number one, forgiveness. Number one, forgiveness. It's below your office as a man to hold a grudge against your wife is below your office below your office as a man to hold a grudge against your wife you must you must as a husband you must as a husband as a it's a responsibility given to you by god to love your wife with forgiveness love your wife with forgiveness Love your wife with forgiveness. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 and 2. Be therefore followers of God as their children and walk in love. Even as Christ also had loved us and had given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. So you must show forgiveness in your conduct and in your words. Is below your office as a husband. If there's a hurt in your house, the first person to demonstrate love is the man. Forgiveness is not just a question of, I know you were wrong, I am sorry. No. That's not what it is. 
Forgiveness, according to the word of God, is when you take the wrong of the other person and assume it as yours. You take your wife's wrong. She wronged you, but now as a husband, you take her wrong upon yourself and make it your own wrong. Her wrong becomes your wrong. Okay? You get in her place. And after taking the wrong, you forgive her and release her and treat her like she didn't do it. Because you assumed the wrong. So you no more see her with the eyes of the person who did the wrong. You see her with the eyes of the person who never did wrong. Because the wrong is on you. So since it's on you, you forgive. That's what Jesus did. He came, took our place, took our wrong on himself and gave us forgiveness. That's the way the husband must treat the wife. Because the husband models Christ. And if he models Christ, he acts like Christ in the relationship. Jesus assumed our responsibilities. He assumed our faults and our sins as a husband and as a man. You must train yourself in forgiveness. A husband must train himself in sacrificial life. You must. That's how to be a husband in Christ. You forgive. Not just, darling, this thing you did is not good. Though. Okay, I forgive you, but don't do it next time. No. You take the wrong on yourself and give her forgiveness and never see her with the eyes of the person who did it. So it's not a matter of, this is the second time I'm warning you. If he gets to number three, you may not escape it. No. You, you take her out of the wrong. You step into the wrong. You give her forgiveness. That means she never did it. That means if the chips are down, you did it. That's, that's, that's the way to do it. So that way you never see her because you have to present her to yourself without spot or rico. Every time you look at her, she must be stainless. Every time you look at her, she must have never done any wrong before. Otherwise, you're not acting like Christ. You're betraying yourself. You're suffering from mental agitation. Today, in sister's voice. <laughs> Sisters' voices are coming up. The volume is rising. <laughs> but that's the Bible. Say with me, I do the word of God. Every man say, I do the word of God. Today, the men's voices are better than last Sunday when I was asking sisters to say after me. Uh, they gave me meditation voice. <laughs> praise God. I say, praise God. So you must learn to love. You must learn to forgive. You don't recall past events as a husband you don't don't ever do it last time mm -mm, don't christ never does that christ never comes to us to say you remember what you did the other time when he hits number 10 you will see my red eyes no there's no such thing christ presents you to himself always as a church without spot or rico or any such thing every time christ sees you he sees you through the eyes of his cross Forgiven, justified, purified, stainless, spotless. So a husband must see his wife like that all the time. All the time. Nothing like last time. There's no last time. There's no record of wrongs. Your sins and iniquities, I will remember them again no more. That's the love of Christ. And that's the love of a husband in Christ. 